<laughs> Yo, tonight we got an epic team battle between a group of minions versus a group of Temmies. But did you know that I'm hosting an idea raffle where five lucky winners can get their dream idea come to life? And actually, I just added yet another free app to earn more points from. So download Dragon Revolt on iOS or Android with my custom link down below, then tweet Google Plus or Facebook me a screenshot of you completing the tutorial, and I will reward you with five ticket slots into the idea raffle coming this June 20th. And if you want more points, you can download Sword of Shadows for five points and Cradle of Empires for another five points. Just send me screenshots of you completing the tutorials, and you can Rack up to 15 ticket slots for this idea raffle. Good luck in the raffle and enjoy the episode. What's up everyone? Welcome to the 190th episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm your host, Animation Rewind, and if you are new to this series, be sure to check out the older content. But if you know how the game is played, then let's get ready for the fight. Tonight's episode was animated by Isaac B, so if you enjoy what you see, head on over to his channel and subscribe. Speaking of tonight's battle, we have a team fight between the Temmies and the Minions. And it's important to know that this battle will not have prep time, which means no purple Minions, but at the same time, this means no armored Temmies. So with all this being said, let's introduce Cartoon Fight Club's next round of fighters. The internet's least favorite yellow trend is back. The last time these things were on here, they faced the screaming albino versions of themselves and the raving rabbits. Today, they face a different white and fluffy foe. But for now, let's discuss all things Minions. Evolving from a single-celled organism at the dawn of time, Minions live to serve. They are fiercely loyal to Gru and Dr. Nefario, and extremely eager to please, willingly helping with any evil plans, but at the same time, they are friendly and fun-loving. The Minions, at a first glance, seem like weak, obnoxious, and dumb creatures, but the truth is, they are not weak or dumb at all. They may be internet toxic, but that's a different topic for a different day. The Minions have survived over 65 million years because of their intelligent cunning. The Minions are masters of biochemical engineering, manufacturing, nuclear science, disguise, electromagnetic science, and most importantly, teamwork. Now while these guys might be book smart, when it comes to common sense, they sometimes drop the ball. Minions are also fairly durable as they can survive head-on metallic impacts and direct RPG missile blasts. The minions are also known for being equipped with many deadly and useful gadgets. For example, the fart gun, which is a weapon that Dr. Nefario had created after misunderstandings grew order for a dart gun. This weapon's gas knocks its target out when inhaled. There's also the SR6, which shrinks something to a constant size, also known as the despicable shrink ray. And then we've got weapons like the big blaster cannon, which is the strongest and most notorious weapon in their arsenal. The fusion launched out of this cannon can literally disintegrate titanium grand steel. Now these things are great but they're not perfect. Most minions are kind and friendly which is going to be their biggest flaw in combat. And again this battle will only include yellow minions so the purple ones will be out of the equation since prep will not be involved. Overall, the minions are scientific geniuses that were great in teams, but most of them are kind-hearted and loving. From Despicable Me to Undertale, let's discuss the Temmies. And who's hungry for some Tem Flakes? No one? How about some Tem Facts? Does that sound appetizing? No? How about some Tem Fo? Oh, that's too far. Let's just stick with Tem Facts. The Temmies are a cat species, scratch that, they're a dog species. Well, that's not clear since the thing has both dog ears and cat ears. So is it a cat dog? Well, ultimately it doesn't matter. What matters is what these monsters can do and how well they can fight. Most Temmies act fairly similar. Sure, some hold minor differences, but for the most part, they are an erratic species with discreet love for their signature Temmie flakes. A Temmie's signature attack includes Tem-shaped drop-offs 
onto the bullet board. Their giant lengthy legs can cause great damage if they are not dodged. Like dogs, they're good at tracking moments and like cats, they're good at swift pounce like jabs with their stretchy legs. The worst thing you can do is deny a Temi some Temi flakes. This would cause a Temi to get annoyed and ready for an attack. Most Temis appear to be female with the exception of Bob, who seems to be the only Temi who is 100% literate and fluent in English. And while most Temis have the mental capacity of a small child, it's those like Bob who are so smart that he graduated college in several seconds. So yeah, their range in intelligence is very vast. And unfortunately for humans, humans are highly allergic to Temis. Strangely for Temis, Temis are also allergic to Temis, and for some odd reason, they can be prone to forgetting their own attacks. Overall, the Temis for the most part are very childish and mischievous. However, a few like Bob and the Tem shop owner are extremely skilled and intelligent. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle is going to take place on Earth and in the underground, and there is no prep, which means no purple minions, but at the same time, no armored Temis. Let the battle begin! <laughs> Round one, fight! reminder I started a new series known as Internet Geographic and the first video's topic is I hate everything. Plus, remember that idea raffle? Well I'm adding two new ways to earn extra ticket slots for free. You will get five extra slots each if you click that link down below and download Cradle of Empires and Sword of Shadows. Cradle of Empires is a really cool match 3 puzzle solver and Sword of Shadows is a very unique sword fighting platform action game. Tweet Google Plus or Facebook me a screenshot of you completing at least three puzzles in Cradle of Shadows for five points, and tweet Google Plus or Facebook me a screenshot of you getting to the second fire scene in Sword of Shadows. Downloading these apps with my custom link will support the production of more animations and this Total War, 
Plus, it will also give you a great chance to have your dream idea become a reality. And since I added two new apps to the list, I'm going to extend the raffle date till June 20th to give you a little more time, just five more days to make sure everyone gets a chance to download these games and reach the screenshot goals. Please, download these apps and good luck. And stay tuned for the total war between Super Smash Bros and PlayStation All-Stars. It's going to be a big project, but I need your help to make it a reality. So download those apps in the description below. And now for the post analysis. And the winners are the minions. Now before we discuss why, I owe a huge shout out to the battle animator, Isaac B. If you enjoyed what you saw, head on over to his channel and subscribe. So yeah, the minions win. And while the Temmies put up a solid effort, they just didn't have enough to permanently put the minions down for a few key reasons. For starters, as a whole, on average, the minions are far smarter and far more intelligent than the Temmies are. Sure, some Temmies like Bob and the Tem Shop owner are pretty smart, but for the overwhelming majority and the rest of the Temmy species, they're hardly fluent at speaking clear English and most of them are very childish. Now the Temmies do hold some advantages over the minions. For starters, they are far more driven to fight dirty than the minions are, and while the minions are technically supposed to be evil, they struggle to fight with an iron fist at times. The minions though have a far greater arsenal to work with since they have plenty of gadgets at their disposal. Many of these weapons are things that Temmies have never got a chance to deal with. The minions on the other hand had over 65 million years of experience on their side. And while the minions have never faced a foe exactly like the Temmies 100%, they surely have faced many similar foes during the prehistoric ages of their evolution. We also can't forget about the fact that the Temmies are allergic to themselves. This is ultimately going to be an X factor in determining a winner. But the biggest takeaway from all of this is probably the fact that armored Temmies weren't factored into the equation. But to be fair, since armored Temmies were taken out, so were the purple minions, who are far more powerful than the yellow minions. So if you want to see a prep time rematch with armored Temmies and purple minions, all you have to do is like this video. If this video gets 20,000 likes, there will be a rematch. Also, don't forget to comment down your own ideas and stay tuned as I reveal the next fighters. On the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm going to go to the